Phoenix, it's the Red, and welcome to our next project. And our next game is going to be one I'm sure many were waiting for for a while. Shantae, Half-Genie Hero. Yes, we are finally moving on to Shantae, Half-Genie Hero, the uh, next game in the Shantae series, uh, and the first one to appear in HD. Um, yeah, it's been a little while since I last tackled this series. I know this playthrough is a little long overdue, but here we go. So we'll go ahead and start a fresh file on the next one here. And as you can see here, we've got quite a few modes that we could play here. Uh, some of these are going to be covered in an extra video, but a few of these will appear as part of the main playthrough. But for now, we're going to go ahead and do the main story and get this thing kicked off. So let's get right into it. And right off the bat, you can see the visuals are just gorgeous here. But no time to get into that right now. Huh? Is someone there? Even the little touches to the text boxes here, like you can see a little motion tween in the character model that's talking. Really nice touch. Hello? So, I guess we're going outside to follow whatever that voice is. And this gives you a little bit of a idea of the gameplay, at least a little bit. All you can do is really run and jump, but uh, hey, it's something, I guess. It's uh, an interactive cutscene, basically. So we'll go ahead and head out of the lighthouse, this time not under attack for a change. And let me just say again, the graphic style of this game is so good. The lighting effects, the backgrounds, all of it is just stunning. Its graphical style might look familiar if you've played another way forward game called DuckTales Remastered. Much like that game, all the graphics here are hand-drawn. But anyway, as we head into this little building over here, which is Mimic's house... Uncle Mimic. You fell asleep in your workshop again! Huh? I've never seen that trap door before. I wonder where it leads. Boy, it's, uh, pretty dark down there. This probably isn't a good idea. Oh, well. Not like anybody's watching. Let's go in! And so we enter the mysterious basement of mystery. But one thing to note... Yeah, you can't actually get back out of here, so... Not that it really matters. This is still basically just interactive cutscene here. The fire doesn't even hurt you. Nothing actually hurts you right now because, well, as you can see, we don't have a health bar. This next part's kind of amusing, though, because we've got bats that will just fly into the fire and kill themselves. Smash Brothers style. So as you're making your way through this cave, you can actually lead those bats into the fire yourself and watch them go flying off. Pretty amusing stuff. But again, even if the bats do hit you, you don't take any actual damage, so... You don't really have to do this if you don't want to, but it's there, so why not? Here's another one. Okay, there we go. And so we head into here, and right, we'll have some more plot. Huh? What is this place? Does Uncle even know it's down here? There's that voice again. Welcome. Daughter of the Genies! Who who said that? Whoever you are, you had better come out right now! I don't think you're in a position to be making demands. Don't be afraid. Gasp! Who are you? Yes, she actually says gasp. It's not an actual gasp. A messenger from the Genie Realm. I have summoned you here to warn you of a great danger! Very soon, an agent of darkness will strike at the heart of our world! It seeks to corrupt our magic and use it for its own selfish gain! You sure like yellow text! With our power at its disposal, this agent of darkness will reign supreme over both our worlds! Okay, so which of those texts is the most important? And no one will escape its wrath. Oh no, this sounds serious. How do we stop it? As a daughter of the genies, only you have the power to do this. Me? But how? I will help you where I can, 
listen for my voice and follow your heart as you always have. Only then can both our worlds be saved. Wait! Don't go! What about my mother? Is she there with you? Dot, dot, dot. I can barely hear you! Well, that's because it's not talking. Is she in danger too? Please tell me! I have no words for this. Please! I have to know! Don't leave me! She's sounding pretty desperate. And suddenly, a flash of light! And then all of a sudden we get to save our game. Save guy looks like he's put on a little weight since the last game. Oh, quick costume change, and yeah. Every now and then you'll get to run into him in this black screen and you can save your game if you'd like to. But we're not going to be doing that just yet. And then suddenly we're in Scuttletown. Boy, oh boy. That was some crazy dream I had. No more comic books in bed from now on. Interesting. And that whole tub of cookie dough ice cream probably didn't help much either. You have these things? Oh well. Now that I'm up, it's time to meet Uncle. Again. He's probably at his workshop, knee-deep in gizmos and goo... Gu goo Am I reading that right? I don't think I've ever seen that word before. But nevertheless, here we are in Scuttletown, and this time it goes into more of like a circular pattern. You go from one side to the other, and it basically operates like a uh, platforming area. It's even got some jars here and there that you can break for some gems if you want. There's some town folk here and there that you can talk to, and they'll give you a little tidbit here and there. Usually related to whatever's going on in uh, the game at the time. Most of these buildings that we can go into are kind of closed off at the moment, so we can't go in there just yet. So, we're going to go ahead and... we well, get those out of the way. And we're going to head inside the workshop, which is the only place we can actually go in right now. And here's Uncle Mimic, finally awake. Uncle Mimic. Good morning, Uncle. Uh, hmm. Say, I had the weirdest dream last night. And you can tell me all about it. But first, give your old Uncle Mimic a hand, will you? Sure. Is there something... Is this something to do with your new invention? You'll see. I've got a mechanical part on back order. Should have arrived today. I sent your old pal, Bolo, over to the item shop to pick it up. But he hasn't come back yet. That was over an hour ago. And that place is only like a minute away. Always his head in the clouds, that boy. Would you mind picking up the part for me? Sure thing, Uncle. And right off the bat, we're doing fetch quests. Fine. Anyway, the item shop. Now all these buildings are going to be opened up, by the way. Here's the item shop. Welcome to the item shop. We'll be open for business in just a few minutes. But it looks like Bolo isn't here, so we're going to have to find out where he went. The bathhouse looks like a good place to check. That boy could use a cleanup, after all. And sure enough, here's Bolo. Bolo? What are you doing in the bathhouse? Uncle's waiting for you to deliver his package. You're in the wrong shop, you numbskull. This woman. She's like a bathroom angel. A what? Oh, good gravy. Not this again. Snap out of it! Can't look away. Never mind. I'll talk to her. So, yeah, this being the bathhouse, when you step into this water, you can actually recover all of your hearts and all of your magic. So that's going to be nifty to know about later. Thing is, you can't access this place while you're in a level, so it only really helps in between sessions. Good morning and welcome to the bathhouse! A place where you can rejuvenate your body and spirit with the tranquil sounds and sense of hardcore, white-knuckle, full-throttle max relaxation! Boy, you sure can sell this place. Normally, I'd offer you advice about your quest, but right now I'm trying to figure out where this receipt came from. Whoever delivered that drooling buffoon statue over there must have dropped it. Anyway, if you're heading to the shop next door, please take this receipt with you. Okay, so we get a sales slip. I guess is another term for a receipt. 
And remember, if you ever lose your way, come see me for a free hint! So yeah, you can also talk to that girl if you uh, decide to come back to this game after a long time and forget what you need to do. So nice that they have included something like that here. So going back to the item shop. Oh, you're picking up for your uncle then. Just show me the receipt and I'll fetch it for you. There you go. Okie dokie, let's see here. Yep, here is his order. It was stuck to this box of hard drives. Oh dear, a magnet stuck to the hard drives. Also, hard drives existed. What time period is this game supposed to be taking place in again? A time period where apparently hard drives, cookie dough ice cream, and comic books exist, so not that distant? I don't know. <laughs> this game can be kind of silly sometimes. Ah, you have something for me. Sure do. Have your magnet. Ho oh, ho, here it is. My magnet has finally arrived. That means it's finally time to show off my latest invention. Doesn't look like much yet, but that'll change. Oh my, what is it, Uncle? Something to help you defend the town. I call it the Dynamo. Dino Meow? <laughs> no. Dynamo! It's a contraption from the old world that I'm attempting to piece back together. That magnet you brought to, you brought me goes right... Here! Like that, you see? Once it's completed, this machine will generate enough electricity to light up Scuttletown, day and night! It'll chase away every monster and pirate within a ten-mile radius. Scuttletown will be safe and sound. And you get to relax for a change. By relax, I mean you'll be out of a job. That's amazing, Uncle! When will it be ready? Well, there's still a few components missing, but I'm getting close. Next, I need to add a... Let me see here. Where are my Dynamo blueprints? I had them last night, but now they're gone. Did you try looking in the basement? Basement? My workshop hasn't got one. But there was a trap door right in the... And before anything else could happen... Ah! A tinker bat! That filthy pirate just ran off with my blueprints! Don't worry, Uncle. I'll... Well, was that... Cannon fire?! That blast came from Main Street. I've got to go. You'll need a ride. Head to Sky's Hatchery quickly. And Sky's Hatchery is right next door, so that's not too far that we need to go. And, uh, yeah, you can see there's a full-scale attack already going on. The townsfolk tend to have different things to say depending on what's going on in the game, so, uh, let's see. This is why every town employs a Guardian Genie, just in case. Eek! Pirate attack! I apologize for that. I did the best I could, though. I don't run. Ever. Cool! Pirates are gonna blow the shipyard to smithereens! Isn't this exciting? What are smithereens? Once again, I love the sense of humor that this game has. Never a dull moment around this place, that is for sure. But let's go ahead and move on, shall we? Here we have Sky inside of her hatchery. Sky! I heard it. Main Street is under attack. I'd give you a ride, but none of my birds is big enough. <sighs> Grammar. That 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 should be none of my birds are big enough. I'm a little surprised that this grammatical error is here. There have been several patches for this game, and this has not been fixed yet, and that's kind of weird. That is unless... Unless what? Wrench, I need you! Ready to show Shantae our newest trick? Mega Wrench Metamorphosis! How did he... Here. And we get a whistle at the same time. A bird whistle? I'll explain later. Just get on already. And so we hop onto Wrench, who then flies off through the ceiling. 
figured I'd leave this loading time in because the music is playing at the same time, so have Shantae dancing! And this leads us into our world selection screen. Relax, Wrench can take this size for several seconds. It's... SECONDS?! Just choose a location and it will drop you off. And, uh, yeah, basically you can just go up and down, and you can pick whichever place you need to go to. Main Street is where we need to head to, after all it is the place with the bu burning buildings and all such. So, let's head on over there. Gives you another chance to save, you'll have no shortage of these, so take advantage of it if you'd like. This is your stop! Now, how about that bird whistle? I've added it to your subscreen. And here's the subscreen. You can access this by pausing the game, and from here you can choose items. All of the items you collect can be found there. If you ever need a lift, go to that subscreen and blow that whistle. Got that? You bet. Now watch as I give those pirates a taste of my silky split ends of justice. <sighs> Just go. I won't let you down. I won't let you down either. No, I mean, I'm literally not letting you down. Wow, get! Wow, that's kind of mean. <laughs> Flew up and then pushed her off. What, what kind of friend does that? Anyway, we're coming up to an intro stage now, which is more or less how every other intro stage in the series has been, so instead of talking about that, let's instead listen to this amazing soundtrack.
was Dancing Through the Danger as sung by Christina V, the voice actress for Shantae. I was kind of hoping that song would wind up getting used for like some sort of intro FMV or something, but at least it got a pretty good use here in the beginning of the game. So now we're starting to get into the meat of uh, where this level is, and we're going to see a lot of puzzles very similar to the ones that we saw back in the first game, such as these shifting platforms that the Tinker Bats are hitting the wall and making them shift in and out. So basically just time your jumps and you'll get across there just fine. Tinker Bats also like to hang out inside these barrels, and when you get close to them, they'll jump out and try and hit you. It makes them kind of difficult to hit without getting hit by them yourself. But if you just keep your distance, they're not too much of a threat. You can also hit the barrel itself to make them prematurely come out. That's if you can get close enough to do that in the first place, but, um, yeah. Given that all of your enemies here are just Tinker Bats, you're not going to have too much trouble getting past areas like this. And then up ahead we're going to have some more... Ooh! Almost jumped right into that, so... <laughs> so yeah, more uh, shifting floor puzzles. Nothing terribly difficult. Gives you plenty of opportunities to collect gems as well, so definitely going to capitalize on that. We have a trip to the shop in our future, after all. But, um, yeah, you might notice that this game is doing away with one of the old traditions of the other Shantae games, which is to have kind of an open-world-ish type level where you have to explore various parts, and in many ways you still do that in this game. But the levels now seem to be more set up in a uh, point A, point B fashion, where for the most part you're just focused on trying to get from one end of the stage to the other, much like how it works in intro stages. The difference with this one being that we're going to be able to revisit it later. Don't really need that right now, so let's just go on in here and take on the boss. All of the pirates are Tinker Bats. Which means the person behind this attack must be... Of course, a giant slug! <laughs> oh, right, her too. Risky boots. I thought so. In the fl uh, tut tut, call me the queen of the seven seas. Uh, Risky, I think you missed your cue. You always say in the flesh during this part. Back to your old tricks, I see. You don't sound too happy to see me. No matter. I have what I came for. Looking for this? Yeah, I'm a little surprised by uh, Risky's voice, actually. She kind of sounds a lot like Jessie from Team Rocket. Uncle's blueprint! Your dim-witted relic-hunting uncle is always unearthing valuables from the Lost Age. And whatever secrets this blueprint contains, I want them. How else can I claim my rightful place as ruler over all of Sequin Land? <laughs> now, step aside, or suffer the might of my part omni-organic, partially titanic, ocean-optional Tinker Slug! Whew, that's a mouthful. If only there was some sort of acronym we could use for that. The Poop Toot? <laughs> oh, I gotta love way forward sense of humor. Don't call it that! You know, the motion tween in her character model here is what really sells this. Men! Let's give this brat a proper workout! And we are on for the first boss Tinker Slug! Don't call it Poop Toot. Yeah, Shantae gives you a little clue as to what you need to do during these boss fights, even though sometimes it's kind of obvious, like, defeat the boss. Anyway, climb up these chains, make sure you hit the bell, it will make a TNT appear at the top, and then you just knock the TNT into the Tinker Slug, jump down, and start dealing damage. Now, before you can hit the bell again, you need to wait for that little thing at the top, the little wooden thing that's behind my magic counter. Uh, once that's done rotating, then you can hit the bell again to make another TNT barrel appear. All the while, you need to be avoiding all the cannon fire, as well as the pop shots that Risky takes at you uh, with her pistol. There's a lot that you need to watch out for here. Indeed, this boss fight could catch you off guard if you're not ready for it. 
It's probably one of the trickier intro bosses that this uh, game has had. Probably one of the trickiest since the first game. But uh, one more volley of attacks and we should be able to uh, finish this thing off. Okay, there we go. Head on up. And let's finish this thing off. There we go. All the Tinker Bats are going flying off. At the end of the day, it is just an intro boss, so it's not going to be terribly difficult. Surrender the blueprints, Risky Boots. Please? So, you've managed to get the upper hand, but you're only postponing my inevitable victory. And so she hands over the Dynamo Blueprints. Another time, Runt. Move it, you lovers. <laughs> so she makes her get away. Well, that was a rather short game. And don't come back. Hey, how do you like that? I actually beat her right away for a change. I'd better get these blueprints back to Uncle. Indeed, that was uh, probably the shortest conflict that we've ever had with Risky Boots. Almost as if this is playing up to something. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. And so at the end of every major world, we're going to be greeted with a new transformation. Donor of the Genies, welcome to the Genie Realm. Take this transformation and enter the light. Simple enough. So what kind of transformation do you think we're going to need to be able to get up there? Why, Monkey Dance, of course! You got the Monkey Dance! Use this power to scale walls. Press X to dance. So when we press the X button, we can engage our dancing maneuver, and instead of releasing the button to go into a certain transformation, we can now just press one of the directions to become that animal. A lot more user-friendly, if you ask me. So, just like before, Monkey can jump higher and can climb walls. And that's what we need to do to get up to this light. I like that it gives us you this little one-room demonstration of what each animal transformation can do. And you say Risky sailed off after that? She gave me the slip. I'm sorry, Uncle. There, there. Look at the bright side. No one was hurt except for all the people in that town, and you managed to return the blueprints. Well, you're fired. Wow, already? <laughs> Have we not learned anything yet from this guy? Last time you did that, we had to take two games to get everything fixed. Fired? Fired again? Yeah, Main Street is in, Main Street is in shambles and pirates are running pell-mell all over town. I'm off, to, I'm off to place an ad for a new Guardian Genie. One who can get rid of those pirates for good. Lots of half-genies guarding towns these days. One of them's bound to want to transfer to a beach town. Free rent, amazing ocean view, negligible fish smell, apply today! Well, I never got free rent. Ah, ignore him. He'll come around once this dynamo is completed. If you say so, Uncle. In fact, I should get to work right away. Why don't you go see if anyone in town needs help? All right. Good luck, Uncle. I'm ready to go, I guess. If anyone needs me. Poor Shantae has already lost her job, and we're only off the first part. But that's where we're going to go ahead and call it for now. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you're looking forward to this series, and I'll see you next time.